to Marlins Way, where we find Lone Depot Park. Mother's Day action on the show. It's the Philadelphia Phillies taking on the Miami Marlins. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. So just about set and on the hill here today, Braxton Garrett. Chris, how about a scouting report? Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. Kyle Schwarber in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Good eye in that spot. And a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. One gone here. And that's the first strikeout of his major league career. And it could be the first of many if he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him. He doesn't want to just win games. He wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers could sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Boog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The thrill is still hitting the ball over oh, the fence. And so for a guy, even if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. The 1 0. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. One out, base is empty. That one out to right. And that'll fall for a base hit. I'm amazed at his ability to pull his hands inside and actually square that baseball off. That pitch was off the plate. So tough to get the barrel to anything in there. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Here's Bryce Harper. There's a strike. Here's someone, historically speaking, oh, that down. prefers day games over night games. So I'm excited to see what he does in this one. Real Muto at first, one gone. And that one fouled off. The pitch. On the ground right side. Four. Six. Out. Three. It's a double play. And that'll do it for the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. And now the Marlins will have a crack at things. No score. here at Lone Depot Park and towing the slab Aaron Nola and singing we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure he's more calm and settles in he's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position most guys they get a little tight they start to aim the baseball but for some reason he gets looser the ball comes out of his hand with more life and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations nope. and get his team back in the dugout. Jazz one, Chisholm no Jr., the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. Well, I don't think anyone was surprised to see Nola have success in the majors. He was a star in college, playing for LSU, becoming a finalist for the 2014 Golden Spikes Award. He's one of the top amateur baseball players in the country. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. Now this ball is well hit. 
This one's got a chance. Hits the fence. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. Brian De La Cruz, the next to hit. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And that one clips the corner. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. That one catches the zone. That is strike two. One ball. In the dirt to third and got it well you want to see guys aggressive out there on the base paths but you also want to see them smart as well in making their decisions and right there couldn't really tell how far away that ball was so if that's the case you got to shut it down it gets caught stealing there takes himself out of scoring position and misses it's a strikeout Jake Berger the next up for the Marlins pop foul out of play off to the right and a pitch and it's even up. Two outs, base is empty. Next offering way off the plate. Line drive, base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Josh Bell at the plate now. Lays down the line, and now maybe extra bases. Berger around second, headed for third, headed for the plate. He will score, and they take the lead. One nothing. Always feels good when you come through and get your team on the board first. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. So two down, next to hit, Jesus Sanchez. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Man on second, two down. Swing and a miss, and it's 0-2. All you got to do is concentrate and execute this next pitch. Get yourself out of the jam, back into the dugout. And a swing and a miss. And that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. But they push across one run, three hits, no errors, and a runner left. Second inning coming up here in South Florida. It's the Marlins one and the Phillies nothing. Back here in Miami, second inning set to go. Now it's the cleanup hitter for the Phillies, Alec Bohm. The pitch. That's in there. That's strike one. Well, a good slider from an opposite-handed pitcher has to stay in that tunnel just a little bit longer. Otherwise, recognition can cause you to barrel it up. But right there, the hitter clearly couldn't do anything with it. And now the lefty swings and misses. Struck him out. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious.
Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. Edge of the zone for a strike. And it's 0-1. Marsh, 26 years old, and he was a second-round pick back in 2016. Pitch nope. misses and inside. And one and one. Boog, our man, Daryl Parker, DP, at home plate for this one. Pretty average size strike zone, but the book on him is that it sort of moves around. You can't always count on how he's going to call it from game to game. Comes up empty. That's strike two. The Phils trailing by a run here at the top of the second. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. First pitch misses. And that's outside. Hit hard, base hit. And that extends the inning. Most hitters dream of being able to hit breaking pitches as well as this guy. It takes great bat to ball skills to be able to be as good as he is against the junk pitches he faces. This is Bryson Stock. And that's a base hit, so that's two straight two out hits. And here is Sosa to the plate. That one is upstairs. And a pitch. In for a strike. And a count one and one. They take the force out. And that is the inning. Phillies leave a couple. They trail here, one nothing. And we're back. Bottom we half of inning Marlins. number two. And now for the Marlins, Nick Gordon. With the right hander back to work. There's the strike. Looks like he sacrificed a pitch right down the middle for tracking and timing. Some good hitters will do that. That's a little bit low. Clobber to right field, way back, gone! He made him pay for that one. It's his sixth home run of the season. It's 2-0. He just sent this stadium into a frenzy. They're going nuts. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the bat's been carried it out of here. And now it's Vidal Bruhan. On the ground, right side, and foul ball. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. And a pitch. Ball one. Nobody on, nobody out. Bottom half of inning number two. Mm -hmm. 
got him looking. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Well, I'm not really sure why he let that one go by. I mean, out of the hand, it had a lot of the strike zone. Sure, it had some good arm side run at the end to move to the outside part of the plate. But with two strikes, you got to be ready to swing it there, and you can't leave it in the umpire's hands. Here's the catcher, Nick Fortes. That one the other way. Nice grab. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. And at the plate for Miami, Otto Lopez. Right through there for a strike. Next offering is downstairs. Late on that fastball. I think he was sitting off speed there. Two outs. Out to short. Whips it across. And that is that. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Back after this on the show. All set for the start of the inning. And now the center fielder, Johan Rojas. Garrett back to work. That one missed. Just missed. And that one in the air center field. And it falls. So now back to the top of the order. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already is bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that. They have a high contact rate, and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. And that one fouled off. Tying run at the plate. Swing and a miss, and it's not again two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Next offering is down low. Way to lay off that pitch down. And a one-two. Hard ground ball for a base stop. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Now oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. First and second, no outs. Now the number two hitter, JT Real Muto. So the tying run at second. Fastball for a strike. And the count is 0-2. Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up. He can go up. Berger tags the runner to first. Double play. Nicely done. And now here is Harper. He hit into a double play his first time up. Ball one, no strikes. Up the middle, into the outfield, base hit. The throw in, 
It's off the mark, and he scores. And now they trail by one. Well, there you go. The RBI machine, another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Two outs, runner on first, and now it's Alec Bohm. And that one missing low. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. And a pitch. That ball, too. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Trying to hold a one run lead. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Step off throw to first. Harper's back in a dive. I think you want to get a one way lead, be very aggressive in the secondary. This hitter, not a power guy, so you want to make sure that you can get Rainbow. some length on the secondary lead and perhaps score a ball in the gap. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. And that one is lifted in the air. Sanchez snags it, and that is that. So one run in the inning on this base hit, and it's now a 2-1 ball game. And welcome back to the ballpark. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. But why to kick the pitch? That misses the zone. Ball, Ball one. one. No strike. Just oh, off the outside edge. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. And here it comes. That's in there. And it's two and one. Two balls, one strike. That's down and in. And that's ball four. Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and the leadoff batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off his shoulder. And now here's the Marlins DH, Brian De La Cruz. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. Then he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Runner on the go. That's in for a strike. Throw. Tag. Ow. A bullet from JT Real Muto. Wow, what an incredible throw right there. And he might not have had time to get to his feet and catch that runner. That's an incredible display of arm strength. One down, base is empty. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Here's the 0-2. Whoa, that's down. And it chases that one. That's out number two. Well, you rarely ever see three curveballs in a now row that, because that's one of those pitches that's most effective when you haven't seen it recently. You might see three sliders in a row, but right there, he was feeling that curveball and figured he could finish with that pitch. Berger in the box now. No balls and a strike. Two down, nobody on. Here in the last half of the third. Two now. In the air, foul off first. Harper drifts towards it. He's there. He's got it. And that is that.
back here in Lone Depot Park. Now it's the second baseman, Brandon Marsh. This kid picked up in a trade. A lot was offered and given to get him, but he's got a real high ceiling. And a foul ball left side. Looking to get the tying run on base. In the air to left down the line. And that is a foul ball. The 0 2. And One delivers ball. outside. Wouldn't chase that time. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count off at two yeah. balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. And he's already singled in this game. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. One down, Phillies down a run. Outside, that's a ball. That one down the line. Oh, and it hits the base. Now it rolls down into the corner. And the tying runs at second base with a double. A couple of hits in a row for him here. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. A chance now to even the score and maybe extend this game. Substitution now at second base, and here's the pinch runner, Whit Merrifield. Bryson Stock getting ready to hit. One for one with a single so far. Late swing, foul to the left. Right side, Bell. And he handles it himself for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And the batter will be the shortstop, Edmundo Sosa. He's 0 for 1. Right through there for a strike. Swing and he breaks his bat. That's a foul ball. Here comes a pitch. With the go ahead run at the plate, top half of inning number four. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there. Well, plays made there, and that retires the side. Philly strand one, and our score remains 2-1. Now into the ball game on defense, Whit Merrifield. He takes over and right. And now the switch hitting first baseman, Josh Bell. He doubled home a run in his first A.B. The pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Whips it to first. And a quick out number one. So up next, Jesus Sanchez.
And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And now it's even one and one. One down, base is empty. And another ball. That one finds the zone. Two and two. The line of the pitch. The punch out there. And there's two down. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Gordon, yep, the next to hit, out. takes ball one. Two down, nobody on. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Man at first, and up next for Miami, Vidal Brujan. That's off the mark. One and oh. Right hander kicks deals. There's a strike. Filthy change up right there. Just pulled the string. Next offer is in for a strike. Gord leads off first with two down to the inning. In the dirt. Nice job behind the plate there. The 2 2. Swings and misses. That's the third out. Marlins leave one as they're unable to add to their 2 1 lead. We go to the top of the fifth. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Johan Rojas. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. That one's in there. It's 0-1. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. And he grounds one to the right side. And he takes it himself for the out. That play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. This game is a lot harder than it looks, Parker. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. One for two. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. That one is absolutely belted. Could be extra bases. Around first, digging for two. Relay to second. Safe, he beats it. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. And now a crucial opportunity to tie up this game with another base hit. Making a move at second base. Coming in as the pinch runner, Christian Pache. And now it is JT Real Muto. That one finds the zone. Oh, oh, one. Got the back going too soon. It's strike two. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0 2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. Safe at first as they can't make the play. 
Well, that at bat had a lot of pressure riding on it, so really great job coming through right there. It's got to feel good. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Bryce Harper to the plate. In there at the knees. Pitch misses there. One ball, one strike. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count, and it clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. And a swing and a miss. Now only one out remaining. So they're down to their final out. Next to hit, Alec Bohm. Trying to deliver as the hero. And now the count is even. Well, it's been a very impressive outing so far. His command has been a big part of it. Even when he misses, he misses outside the strike zone, which is exactly what a pitcher wants. Two on, two outs. Swing and a miss. And the count, one and two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. To the right side. Throw to first is in time, and that'll do it. The Marlins claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. Well, he went the distance for that first NLB win, Boog. I think it's impressive how much trust the skipper already has in him. This could be the start of something great.